Welcome to my Species Spotlight. Today's spotlight is going to be about the superb parrot. The superb parrot is also known as the Barabans parrot, Barabans parakeet, the green leaf parrot, or scarlet breasted parrot. That's a lot of names. The scientific name is Polytelus swainsani. They are native to southeastern Australia and are most likely to be seen in flocks near woodlands or near trees and water. The superb parrot is one of the three species in the genus Polytelus of long-tailed parrots. The other two species are the beautiful princess parrot and the region parrot, which is the closest relative to the superb parrot. In the wild, they eat seeding grasses, flowers, nectar, buds, fruits and berries, pollen, plant matter, insects, and they eat cereal crops, which include uh, wheat, oats, canola, and they eat spilled grains from trucks carrying grain during the harvest season. Farmers actually see them as pests as they raid their crops. One of their favorite insects that they love to eat is called psyllids nymphs. In the wild, they nest in colonies of up to six pairs in large living or dead trees with hollow branches, usually near water. They especially love a river red gum trees and Blakely red gum, red box, apple box, and green box trees to breed in. Now in captivity, it's best to keep pairs separately when breeding them, unless you have a very huge aviary. The female lays between four to six eggs and is fed by the male while she incubates the eggs for 20 to 22 days. Both of the parents will feed the babies. The chicks fledge from 35 to 45 days and are independent by 50 days. When breeding, the male will raise his feathers, especially on his neck and the head, and constrict the pupils and while strutting to get the female's attention. Breeding season in the wild is between September to December. However, in captivity, they can breed at any time if they live indoors, has a temperature, and the lights are controlled. Usually breeding indoors starts in March. They can produce up to two clutches a year. They are sexually mature at around the age of two. They are a sexually dimorphic species, meaning that the male is easily distinguished from the female. However, juvenile males look like females until they start coloring out anywhere between six to 18 months. The superb parrot is mostly green with bluish green on the outer webbing of the primary flight feathers. Adult males have a bright yellow face, forehead, throat, and a bright red band across the neck right below the yellow and a slight blue tinge to their nape with a long pointed tail which has a blackish underside. Females are slightly duller green with orange thighs and splashes of pink on the underneath of their tail a pale blue green face, grayish green throat, and a light pink forethroat. The both male and female adults have orange, yellow irises, reddish pink beaks, and gray feet and gray eye circles. Both male and female juveniles look like females and they have pink on the undersides of their tail and have brown irises. DNA testing is best for juveniles as they both look the same when they're young. And they are around 16 inches long and weigh between 125 grams to 150 grams. The average lifespan can be anywhere between 15 to 24 years. Some have been noted to live a lot longer. So do superb parrots make good pets? Well, that depends on what you want in a parrot and your lifestyle. They may not be for everyone. They need attention, of course, um, but they are happy to play alone if raised properly. They are not needy as, say, like a cockatoo would be. Malibu isn't very needy. He enjoys my company but likes to be on his own doing whatever he likes to enjoy. Each bird is individual, so it does depend on the bird and how they are raised. 
if they are the only bird, um, then they may need a lot more attention as they won't have other birds to occupy themselves. They are beautiful birds. They are gentle, friendly, funny, and enjoyable to have. They make great pets. Hand-raised babies make the best pet. However, it may be possible to tame parent-raised babies or even an older bird, you might be able to tame it down. Um, it's common that keepers of superb parrots house them indoor or outdoor in aviaries, especially in Australia or where the weather is warm um, year round. They are known as aviary birds as they are very flighty and they need space to fly and they, they are considered generally hands off unless they are hand tamed or raised. They are usually housed with other species of birds such as doves, quails, uh, like princess parrots, king parrots, rosellas, region parrots, and cockatiels in a large aviary. Now let me introduce you to my superb parrot, Malibu. So this is Malibu. Malibu is a two and a half year old male. He was hand fed as a baby when I got him from the breeder once he was weaned. So Malibu wasn't DNA tested when I got him. I really wanted a male as my research said that males make better pets than females. Not sure why as I didn't find an answer to that other than they have a nice yellow head. Um, both male and females are very beautiful. I also wanted a male so I don't have to deal with you know the egg laying issues with the females. So what I found interesting was that the breeder had two pairs of superb parrots. I noticed that the two males had darker feet than the females. I mentioned it to the breeder and asked if it was standard for the male to have darker feet than the females. He hadn't even noticed or gave it a thought until I mentioned it and he was very intrigued. Um, so there were four babies, two had darker feet and two had lighter feet. So I chose a baby with darker feet hoping it would be a male. So I did a DNA test and the results were male. I called the breeder to let him know and again he was very intrigued at my findings. So I tried researching about the feet but couldn't find any information about the different colored feet. If you have both male and female superb pairs, can you look at their feet and let me know down in the comment section of your findings. Um, if my findings were correct that males have darker feet than the females. That would be a very interesting fact about the superb parrot and then maybe when people pick them out they can choose the darker feet or the lighter feet depending on what they want but who knows if it's you know foolproof you never know but I found that very interesting and I'm very curious to see if you do have pairs and you can let me know because I'm very excited to find out so hi baby you're so cute. I have also read that juvenile males may be more active and more vocal <laughs> what are you doing than females. You want another one? Here you could be. There we go. Don't want it? Yes? No? Okay. So Malibu didn't start coloring up until about 18 months. I thought he was a female as the research that I did said that the males start coloring out at six months to a year. So I did a second DNA test um, just before I turned 18 months old and it came back male. So shortly after I got the test results, he did get a feather. He got one yellow feather on his cheek. What are you doing? So yes, males can start to color up at 18 months. You want a treat? Here's Judy Pie. There we go. Superb Parrots has pets. Well, Malibu is the only superb parrot that I've had experience with and I will share you my experience um, with you with about Malibu. So Malibu gets along with all my family members, which is a bonus. However, he is very wary of new people until he gets to know them. He doesn't scream, he talks and sings mostly. His normal bird sounds are not as loud like to compare to a maybe a ring neck and a mustache parakeet or a macaw. He's, he's not um, very loud to my ears anyway. He doesn't like to be touched. I have heard from other superb parrot owners and they say the same thing. And he rarely uses his feet to hold his food. I've also heard the same thing with other superb parrot owners. Let me know down in the comments if you have one, if that's true with yours. Now he is okay with other birds. Unless he is with a bird that he really is in love with, he becomes aggressive. Um, towards me or any birds that come near him. Just like any other bird that would protect their mate. 
Um, my other birds are usually chasing him. He doesn't really chase any of them around. Um, he loves to take baths and to be showered. He has not shown any cage aggression yet, so that's a bonus. Hope it doesn't happen. He is very smart and he loves to learn. He trains well with treats. He can wave, spin, and do the recall. He is very acrobatic. He can hang on swings, ropes, and the top of the inside of his cage. He hangs like a bat. He's, he is a very quick, graceful, and fast flyer. He flies with ease, and because of that, I don't recommend clipping their wings. His flying is necessary for them to keep them happy and in great health. They are known as flighted birds, like flighty birds, Avery birds. And Malibu, he swings his head in circles, especially while he is singing, talking, or excited. Sort of like um, what a cockatoo does. I'll insert some pictures here, some videos. He also bobs his head up and down when I talk to him or when he's excited. It's, it's quite funny to see. He's, he's a, quite a character. <laughs> Hi Malibu. Yes, you like to bob your head a lot, don't you? Yes, and spin it in circles, don't you? Yeah, say yes. <laughs> Malibu. You tell everybody, I always, I always turn my head like that. It's just what I do. Yes, and he likes to dance. See? Right? Yeah, you're a good boy. He has a huge vocabulary. He loves to learn how to talk. He listens to me very closely and he repeats my words, phrases, and songs like by the next day. He can sing the happy birthday song, Jingle Bells, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, I'm a Green Pickle that I made up. He says, my name is Malibu, what's your name? You're so pretty, you're so cute. Give me a kiss, thank you, I love you. Look at me, I'm beautiful. What are you doing? I'm a superb parrot, I'm a king parrot. Merry Christmas. What does a chicken say? Buck, buck, buck. What does a, a kitty say? Meow, meow, meow. What does a dog, doggy say? Ruff, ruff, ruff. Synergy, come, Kingsy, come, come, come here, good boy, good girl, cookie, go outside, want a cookie, stop it. He can count to five. He says the days the, the days of the week. He can say them all, but he misses them up a little bit. He says, today is Sunday. What do you want to do? And so on. He says many more, and every day he's learning new stuff. As long as I teach it to him, he will learn. And he basically, he talks all day. For housing wise or cage wise, if you have them as a pet in your home and not in an aviary like outdoors, or if you got them an aviary inside, that's even best. Like an aviary is a huge, 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 you know, place to be for birds. But cage wise, it's best to provide them with the biggest um, cage as possible with plenty of out of the cage time as they are a flighty birds. Keep in mind they have a very long tail, so look for you know a wide and tall cage to accommodate the tail. Avoid cages that are tall and thin. It's best to be, you know, wide and tall. The bigger the better, of course. Malibu's cage is 31 inches wide by 21 inches deep by 41 inches high. That's the smallest cage that I recommend um, if you let your superb out of the cage most of the day, like, like Malibu is. Malibu also has an outdoor aviary that he goes into in the warmer weather, like it's during the day when I'm home. He loves to sunbathe and take baths out there and fly back and forth in the aviary. He also goes into my bird room for a few hours a day before I let out all my small birds out of their cages. You can see all my birds on my channel and my bird room. He loves it in there. He gets so much needed exercise by flying, climbing, and playing, which is best for the bird, of course. So they are not um, heavy chewers like say a Senegal or a Ringneck or a Mustache Parakeet, 
African Grey, Amazon or Marcaw, um, you know, or any birds with larger beaks would be. Um, you know, they have, they have small beaks. Their beaks are smaller um, and they're not as destructive as birds with the larger beak. So that's a bonus too. They're not going to like chew your house down. <laughs> they might nibble on stuff. Malibu likes to chew on thinner pine wood and softer wood such as balsa and shreddable toys. He can't really chew the hard thick wood. He may try and make some small notches in it but he gives up and chews on the other woods. Um, so Malibu's diet, well his diet consists of fresh foods, you know sprouted seeds, grains and legumes, some dry seeds some and some pellets. The fresh food are very dependent on what's in season and what's in my fridge. Some of the foods that I feed him are like carrots, parsnips, radishes, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, cabbage, green beans, snap peas, snow peas, peas, <laughs> corn, golden beet, um, squash, pumpkin, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries. I feed all the, the berries, they're better for them. Um, dark leafy greens, micro greens, and herbs such as parsley, basil, rosemary, and thyme, which are his favorite. I chop up all the vegetables into a chop mix and add the sprouted seeds, grains, and legumes and fruits. So health-wise, well, so far he hasn't had any issues. Um, however, upon my research, they are prone to eye infections, respiratory diseases, and foot problems, especially if they live in an outdoor aviary. Um, since they fly down to the ground and forage, you know, they're just digging in that ground. They, that's why they get those problems. If living in an outdoor aviary, they may need to be dewormed. Um, they can basically get any disease that any other bird can get. So it's best to bring your bird to an avian vet, you know, for routine visits and viral testing especially to make sure they're healthy. Put your comment in the comment section to let me know if you have a superb parrot or are you thinking about getting one? Also, if I missed anything or something you wanted to add so we can all learn about the beautiful, superb parrot. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok for more content. Until then, if you want to see more Species Spotlight videos, click on the video on the screen and I will see you in the next video. Hey, wake Manabu. Good boy. You good boy. Hmm? You're so pretty, so pretty.